going to go up to see Finley Falls. We are here in the Nanahala Gorge area. Um, there is no marked place for this place, but it is exactly 6.7 miles from the Nanahala Outdoor Center. So if you set your trip meter, it's about uh, the only way you might find it unless you're a local in this area because you wouldn't really notice it otherwise. There's picnic tables down there. It's a really nice little park. Basic rules for any national forest place. Another picnic table. And this is really cool. The hubby's down there uh, trying to uh, test out the waterproofing on his camera. Say hi! <laughs> It's flowing pretty good here. This is Finley Creek. The railroad track is up there. The uh, train doesn't go this far anymore. It stops just past the quarry. We've been here in the summer before and walk through the little tunnel. It's only about ankle deep most of the time. Pretty deep compared to sometimes when we've been here. So maybe we'll get lucky and the uh, waterfall will be flowing pretty good. A oh, little, little steep to climb from the little creek up and down. So it's a little steep to go to the waterfall too, but not too bad, so one trekking pole should do it. Get ready to go to the falls. And you can camp here. I just wouldn't recommend it right now in November. <sighs> and there's more picnic tables up here. And the trail is here. And so I'm going to turn the camera off so that I can go up this little hill. It wasn't too bad. The camera never, especially when there's leaves on the ground, never really shows you the how steep anything is. Okay. Oh yeah. 
have to cross the railroad tracks. And if you're feeling investigative, you can walk down the railroad tracks and it comes out, you can see the other side of the tunnel there at the creek. There's an old box car down there. Looks like it's been there for several years. Camp spot. Trash. Oh Lord. Watch your step. There's a log to climb over here. I'm not gonna be able to see very much of the trail for all the fallen leaves. But hopefully there isn't any more of those blowdowns. And the trail is not marked either. So you just kind of have to see where other people have been walking. There's no sign. Almost all the leaves are off the trees now. Which it is two days before Thanksgiving, so. I don't know if you heard hubby or not. This is where the Bardham Trail crosses. Here, the uh, yellow blazes on the trees. Ooh. A little trickle of a creek there. Or as we would say it's a small water source. Almost there. I think there used to be a sign right when you were first walking to climb the little hill to start the trail. I think it's a quarter mile. I think. I don't remember. It's been a minute. The trail goes that way. And right here is another camp spot. And apparently it's a pretty popular one. Because it's a nice big fire ring here. Chopped firewood there, and chopped firewood there, and uh, I'm taking a shortcut. Lots of firewood. 
You can kind of see it from here. It's flowing, but we have been during the rainy season when it was flowing a whole lot more. Part of it up there. All right, keep going around the bend here. There's the trail. I know you can't really can't really see it. But I came up this little area here, right past that campsite. Even though it rained last night, early hours of the morning, the leaves are dried out, thank goodness. All right. Here we are. Hubby's down there. Just enough to waterproof camera again. Yeah, there's a small little trickle. It, there uh, has been flowing as good as that section when we've been here before. The whole thing's just been a wall of water. That's really nice to see. I mean, So it's like a little gully here, but this is the path to get down to the waterfall. You just can't really see how steep it is on camera. But there's the tall part. I'm going to turn the camera off again so I can hopefully not slide down this thing. Here we are, the lower half of Finley Falls. Not walking up all this lovely rockage and leaves. It doesn't seem to be flowing as much anyway in this part down here. And there's that is 
Finley Falls. Bubby's going to try to get better pictures. I don't know if you can see it. The upper part there. Looks like the waterfall's coming out of that tree there. That's so neat. Let's see. Right there. I misinformed you earlier that it's not Finley Creek, it's Ledbetter Creek. This is also known as Ledbetter Falls, but it has been renamed in recent years to Finley Falls. So, but the creek is Ledbetter Creek. Sorry about this. Even though it's not a wall of water today, it's still pretty.